Welcome to Shout 5 of Merlin I Am series. We're here again to welcome you as always for being here with us. We're at the Crimson Circle Connection Center in Louisville, Colorado. Thank you everybody for being here. Uh, I'm looking forward to today. I look forward to every shout, but I think we've got some special things lined up for today. Are, are you ready? Uh, I think that was the answer. I, I'm pretty ready. I know we have a lot of stuff to get through in this segment. And by the way, thank you for those of you who tune into this segment. Uh, we call it the Welcome Show, where we go through all the latest news and information. It's also kind of a warm up for Adamas. Well, and you know, <laughs> there's always so much going on. Am I ready? I have to be open to whatever might come up because that's the nature of working with Adamas. I, I do have to admit that I miss the, the live audience yes. here. And we've got a great team here at the Crimson Circle Connection Center, uh, plus the customer service people who are working at home at the right. computers. But, uh, you know, there's such an energy when you have all the people, and Adamas loves the antics. You become the audience, you know. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you're representing the audience because you're it. Ooh. But uh, I don't know when we're going to be able to get back together like that. I'm hoping maybe by July. I don't hold me to that date, but I'm hoping maybe the July shout. We're, we're, I got my fingers crossed. But yeah, and I it's not just our decision. It's based on a lot of the local regulations and restrictions and things like that. But boy, I sure missed, uh, you know, on Chow Day, people would start getting here early and there's such an energy and Absolutely. laughter and hugging and uh, reminiscing and stories. And, and uh, I mean, we have fun here with the, with the crew, but uh, sorry, but it's not quite, not quite the same. Well, it's a little bit of a crazy time, and you know, even there's crazy things like right now. This is what's called the Super Bowl football weekend in the United States, right? And they're already freaking out because people cannot help but get together to watch a Super Bowl, and so they're saying you can't do that, and if we catch you, we'll do this and this and this. So there's all these crazy things going on. Just people just so tempted to want to get together because it's boring as hell not being able to get together in yeah, a way. And some people, Shambra, uh, appreciate not getting together or the quiet time, the being away. But, you know, and, and me personally, both. I kind of like it, but I do miss the live gatherings. and the, It's both. Yeah. I love the time away, but I love the time together. Yeah. And by the way, we're not going to talk about the Super Bowl, no. which is probably the biggest event in America, uh, even more so than Christmas because it doesn't exist, uh, because my team, the Green Bay Packers, are not in it. They didn't quite put it together last weekend. So it doesn't exist. I don't care. We're going to be on an airplane anyway okay. uh, on our way to uh, Kona, Hawaii, yes, to Villa Amio. Yes, we are. Anyway, let's jump right into it. We have a lot to go through today. We so do. let's take a look at last month, the Merlin IM number four. A lot of great information. We put together this recap to remind me and hopefully you have what we did last month. Well, I think I remember, and then I realize I don't, I and then I, I see no, the recap, no and it's like, oh, yeah, that was it. When I see it, it's like, yeah, I remember, but yeah. well, let's take a look, see what we did last month. Let's see. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. You made it through 2020. This planet is had a permanent change. Difficult at times, yes, and some tough times ahead, but a great change has come over the planet. You're going to come back in five years from now, you're going to look back and say, that was a pivotal year. What I really wanted to say here in the opening segment is I want to express my profound respect and gratitude to Chambra. I invited many to leave. Many were leaving before I invited them. But then I invited a lot to leave, and they, a lot of them did. I do have tremendous respect for them because I know it's important to go off on your own sometimes, to leave, to go through your, your own, whatever you want to call it, your own dragon, your own dark night, your own search. So I have tremendous respect for those who dropped out along the way. Let's talk about distractions for a moment. Distractions are pretty common. It's very easy to get distracted. And in a way, distractions are 
But they serve a purpose. It takes your mind and, and even your body away from the hardships of your path that you've chosen. It allows you to uh, get away from all the commotion that's going on within you. And the one really negative part of it is you get away from your truth. And you know your truth, even though you may not be able to define it. You know your truth. Your truth is the journey, your path, the inner knowingness that's been guiding you for so very long. That's your truth. Why are you here? It started a long time ago. I told you I time traveled all the way back to the temples of Tian. I time traveled to the time of Yeshua. That was tough. That was tough. I time traveled quite a bit in what would you call the Crusades with the Knights Templars. So many of you came from that. I saw you as the Essenes, as the Knights. I saw you just a few lifetimes ago where you just threw it all out. You went off lonely on your own. You just had had it. You were disgusted by, you were disgusted by what the churches had done. Because they represented humanity and human consciousness, and look how they, they took what was so beautiful, the teachings of Yeshua, the beautiful life of Yeshua. They monetized it. They politicized it. They used it for control. They used it for tortures and war. It was everything contrary to what those beautiful teachings were about. Yes, the teachings were about love, but they were about more than that. Please remember now. Please remember why you're here. Well, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, and they're all in your truth. But there's one reason in particular, and it's what I realized when I was doing the time traveling. One reason that really stood out amongst all the other reasons. and. Uh, let me explain it uh, as you, far back as you can go. It's been, um, it's been light, dark, masculine, feminine, good, bad, up, down. Everything is based on two, yin, yang. Everything, not just on this human planet, but in all creation. It's time for this planet and so many places in creation to go beyond duality. Nobody knows how to do it, or they, nobody thinks they know how to do it. Most accept duality for what it is. It just is. You've got your yin and your yang. You've got ups and downs. Everything is duality. But there was a group from way back when, a very large group at one point, that said, there will come a time on the planet when we go beyond duality. And when we do, when we start coming in, when we first do it in our lives, not inflicting it on the planet, but when we become proof that this clear marble can come in, this divinity can come into the duality, that light that is cast from there will change the course of creation, no longer needing to operate in duality. That's what's happening right now. And that's why you're here. This was the commitment. But I would say that along the way, we lost about 98.35 percent of the ones we started out with. I'm talking about from the time of the Essenes, the time of Yeshua. We lost quite a few. They got distracted. Easy to do. So easy to do. Let's go, let's go get them. 
to all those who got distracted, to all those who felt rejected, to all those who felt superior, and to all those who forgot about the truth. To all those who felt betrayed, to all those who wanted the answers so much faster, to all those who were tiding, tired of waiting for humanity or consciousness to catch up, for all those who didn't have the patience to wait until the time was just right. To all those who got overly philosophical, to all those who wanted the glory for themselves rather than to be in service to others, to all those who tried to seek power within this truth, to all those who tortured and ridiculed for their beliefs. Welcome back. We're here today. It's the year 2021. And we're going to go beyond duality. We're going to see what that experience is all about. To do it within ourselves, and then we're going to allow that radiance to go out as a grand potential to all of creation. Let's take a good deep breath. I'd kind of forgotten about that. That was beautiful. That was really and beautiful. Deep. Yeah, and it's like I get confused because he he, the depth and beauty of what he's saying is showing up in so many of the messages. It is, and I, I noticed I, I totally forgotten about the shout, but I noticed that it was kind of almost a setup for Pronos, right? Uh, when he's right. talking about the sadness, and it I was. totally forgot it. I'm so glad we do these. I know. I, I need to remind myself. So, anyway, let's move on. We're going to talk about some of the upcoming events that we have. <laughs> Uh, online and all around the world. Let's start with an online event that's happening very, very soon, actually. That's the end of next week, and I'm very excited about this one. This is Threshold. You're right, it is the end of next week. I yes. thought it was like two weeks away. No, it's just a week away. Oh, I'm no, no good with time anymore. Sorry for interrupting. No, 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 it, it's fine. I just get really excited about Threshold because of all the things that Adamus does with us, I think Threshold mm. is one of the most incredible because there's a, there, the information has a very personal invitations in it for each one of us. And I think that's what, what I find the most profound about it. And even people repeating it say, wow, I remember yeah. what I got, but oh my God, I got this time. I couldn't believe that I found this and this and this. So it's a very, very intense, beautiful, personal event. We're doing it online next weekend, like Linda says, uh, February 12th through the 14th. Linda and I are going to be at the Villa Amio with our dog, Belle. Live hosting. Uh, live hosting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be there with you, going through uh, all the, the videos. And you know, I, I was always kind of surprised when Adama said he wanted it right. done as a video, and it was kind of rushed. Too. I mean, yeah. it was this last summer. He said, do it as a video. We really had to uh, scramble to get it done, get it out in time. Wait, uh, Jeff, we Jeff. consider it the premier Crimson Circle class. Truly, but I just have to add one thing. Why do you always act surprised? I know why he just dumps things on you like that. So I don't think about him. Yes, he wants you to just be ready to go. Yeah, and keep the staff on their toes. You know, I mean, so we don't get kind of you know into too, some comfortable? too comfortable. God forbid we <laughs> right. should be too comfortable. Right. There is one prerequisite for the threshold, right. and it's the sexual energy school. Uh, we require that you've taken that to really understand energies and energy management. So yes, the, th uh, the sexual energy school is a, is a requirement. Uh, we do sexual energy school twice a year online. Right. Right. Uh, we're going to be doing another one in June. But if you haven't taken SES, sorry, uh, you're going to have to wait for the next one. 
uh, we get such good comments back on The Threshold online. Like 75% of the people said that it was life changing and the rest are like it was very, very good. So uh, it get, gets excellent uh, references, excellent credits from people. And like uh, I said, I love that it's very personalized. There's, yeah. you're, there's not any, you're not told what to do, you're guided to find what you need. Let's take a look at some of the bits and pieces from Threshold. I am that I am, Adamus of St. Germain. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Threshold. I can't tell you how much I've been anticipating this, waiting for the time, if it even was going to come, where we would be gathering like this to do The Threshold. It's the last thing that anyone will do before their realization. Everyone goes through it. They may call it by different names. The, certainly all the experiences vary. All the stories are different, but it's the last thing one goes through before their realization. And here we are. Here we are. You learn in these next few sessions what the real name of this is, and it is sacred. That's also why uh, I never wanted the this other name you'll become very, very familiar with. I didn't want it in the uh, title or the description of uh, what we're doing here. It's too sacred. It's too personal to put out there. It's very, very personal. It's interesting uh, what we call the threshold. It's very interesting because this is not being taught anywhere else on the planet. It never has been. Every Ascended Master up to this point, the uh, 9,888, these Ascended Masters have gone through it on their own. There's no books about it, no courses about it. That's what I love about The Threshold. It's the first time we're taking this sacred information, this holy information, and talking about it. Now, please understand, it's not a method. It's not a. It's a, not a ten steps to realization. It's a culmination of many, many lifetimes. It's an understanding and a knowingness that you're going to go through. It's a very, uh, what can be a very brutal time. I'll tell you right now, it can be a very brutal time. But hopefully, by discussing it and helping you to understand it, it's not going to be as brutal. But there are times when you're going to feel you're being torn apart. And I'll explain. I'll, we'll get into all this as we go through the threshold. A big part of the threshold is the dragon. The dragon. We have a dragon sitting right here, just as a constant reminder throughout this. And you will encounter the dragon, no doubt. Uh, by the way, if you think you already have, you think you've already done all this, uh, <laughs> just stop for a moment. You, you haven't even started. But the real purpose of the dragon is clarity. Clarity. That's what actually dragon means. It brings everything to clarity. And the dragon also clears out everything within you that is held in guilt and shame and remorse. Because as every Ascended Master will tell you when you get up to the Ascended Masters Club, you cannot go into realization with these issues. You cannot. You simply cannot. We're going to be talking a lot more about the dragon as we go in. It's a highly, highly uh, energized symbol. You're going to find that dragon is going to be waking up. 
uh, you may say, oh, no, the dragon's already been here. No, no, no. Uh, the, you, you're feeling kind of a shadow of a dragon, but the dragon's going to be waking up. Once we actually turn the corner in this gathering, there's no turning back. There's no deciding that maybe it's not the right time for you. Next few days, I'll, I'll inform you when we come to that point. There's no turning back. So why are you here? Because it's time. Because you've chosen it. But because there's nothing else left, this is it. No more, no more dallying. No more distractions, no more delays, procrastination. This is it. I really hope you could feel the potentials and threshold for each and every one of us. You know, Linda and I did the threshold live around the world, I think 17 times in just about every location I can imagine, always with a, a small group. Uh, Adamus wanted to keep it, the, the numbers small. Uh, we finally are offering it online. I love doing it. It's, um, it moves some energies in Big some time. weird ways, but we're going to be, well, a week from now, we're going to be right in the thick of it. Uh, it's online February 12th through the 14th. Uh, you still have a couple of days to register if you're interested. Uh, we need the registration in advance because we have to do things like check your SES records uh, and also make sure to get you into the database and everything. It, it takes a couple of days for the customer service people to get everything loaded. So if you're interested, please register in the next few days. Uh, if you are registered or going to, we look forward to seeing you next weekend from Kona, Hawaii, for The Threshold. What a great place to do it. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, the winter and spring events we have coming up, some of the live events uh, where we've got our fingers crossed. I think they're going to turn out just fine. The first one is... They're working out well. Energy works. And, you know, everything is going pretty well, although it, we... None of us can control the restrictions that government puts on travel. So that's the only thing that's gotten in the way of any of this. These events have all been sold out and people because they couldn't travel. Wow. So we have wait list only and there is always the potential that you could still get in because of people running into some travel. We're problems. doing Energy Works uh, and February 20th through the 24th in Kona. Right. We're keeping the group small so we can socially distance and uh, we, we've got right. disinfecting machines and we got uh, temperature thermometers. We've got the whole thing. But we've kept the group very, very small for the, uh, those of you who are already registered. That's going to be it's going to be a very nice, intimate uh, setting, and I know it Adamas is. already has some special uh -oh. things in mind for the group. Oh, then Ken. towards the end of March, and by then things should be getting a lot better. But the end of we March, hope. We yeah, hope. we're going to be doing energy works from March 22nd through the 26th. Uh, also, just taking a wait list for that right now. Uh, it's a smaller group than usual again because we want to be yeah. aware of the distancing and all the rest of the stuff. But if things lighten up, if you happen to be on the wait list and can make it over to Kona at the last minute, might be a good opportunity. Absolutely. Then we also have the Master's Code, April 11th through the 15th. It's sold out, but you know there are wait lists. See, it's sold out, and it's been sold out for a long, long it has, time. It has. It uh, has. It's the regular size group. I think it's about 36 people. Right. By then we're. Really Really hoping things are getting a lot better, uh, but anyway, that is sold out. And then right after that, April 21st through the 25th is energy going to be works another again. energy works. And there that, was so much demand for that work. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we've only done it once, I believe, and that was in Norway. Was that it? Yeah, yeah. Norway. Uh, oh, it's because we had to keep rescheduling. Uh, wait, we had to cancel oh, everything last yeah, year. Yeah, I know. So then, exciting. Okay, so we've got the master's code which is also very popular, and uh, people really enjoy that. I think we've done that in Europe, but I don't think we've done that. Have we done that? That was the one we've only done once, Master's Code. We did That's that in Norway. That's what I thought. That's May 5th through the 9th in Kona. Oh, so you know, by then I, I have a really good feeling so many of the restrictions are going right. to be lifted. Right. Uh, it's sold out, but you can get on the wait list. It's May 5th through 9th in Kona. Uh, it should be beautiful. 
So then after that, we, because we had a lot of requests, we scheduled the channeling workshop again. People could come away with a very, very personal experience and clarity about what channeling is. And that's going to be May 17th through the 21st, again on Kona. And we have spaces available. We have quite a few spaces. Now, I think so far we've got about 20 or 24 signed up or something like that, uh, which, which is good. Uh, but we do have more spaces available. Uh, we get into channeling and sensing. And uh, in those three or four days, I guess it's going to be four days in this case, uh, by the second day we're, we're starting to get into the channeling. I love it because Linda and I can share a lot of our personal experiences with over 20 years of doing this, some of the ups and downs, things to avoid, and how to jump right in and start channeling energies and entities. Oh, and then summer 2021, there is going to be one. <laughs> there, yes, there, there. summer has will resume. Yeah. Ah, fine. And so you, as you can see, June 18th through the 20th will be our semi-annual sexual energy school. Absolutely. We're going to be doing it from the studio here in Louisville. Linda and I are hosting it live. Uh, you know, I'm amazed, actually. We've been doing SES online now for, I forget what it is, four years, something like that, uh, five years. And the attendance keeps going up and yeah. up. I, I would have thought, actually, well, I, a lot of Chambra have taken it, but every time we do it, uh, it's, a, it's a bigger number. More Chambra uh, and people around the world are realizing the importance of the Sexual Energy School. Right. And, you know, we have very, very, very few requirements in Crimson Circle. Right. It's just not our way, as all Chambra doing things. But one thing is for some of the events, the live events and the threshold, we do require SES because the attendees asked for it. Because Literally. the attendees said, let's all have a common basis for coming into this workshop together so we don't have a lot of um, energy inequities taking place. Is that a nice way of saying it? Well, yeah, absolutely. Imbalances, And, yeah. and it is about energy balance. And, uh, it, and you really understand your energy management once you take SES. And, absolutely. And so it's very clear that when you have a whole group that has had that experience, that the dynamics between the group allow Adamas to go much deeper in the events. So we noticed that right away, actually. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have some other summer events uh, yet to be announced, but uh, right now we do know the Sexual Energy School. Right. After that, hopefully things are really back to normal. We're going to be in Europe in the autumn of 2021. And uh, we've got quite a few things uh, going on there. Yeah, it's going very well. And, and again, a lot of this was a lot of, because we had to cancel 2020 oh. events, a lot of yeah. people transferred over to 2021. Thank you very much. So we have the channeling workshop in Roost, Austria, a very wonderful, perfect place to do channeling workshop also. And it's sold out. Uh, September 1st through the 5th. Mm -hmm. I, that's one of my favorite places to go to. I don't know, it's so laid back. Easy. and. It's in the vineyard good areas, yeah, good yeah. energy, very reasonably priced. Uh, I just, I love that area. So we're going back. We are. And then, whoa, okay, time of the Merlin. Back on schedule, September 11th through the 12th, Lake Blood, Slovenia. You know, we had to cancel it this last year, and that was one of the oh. toughest things because we love that event. And also, when you have to cancel, uh, 500 people. That was a little bit of work. That was over the top. Uh, Sasa held through though. Uh, that our Sasa and the staff did. had to go through. We're redoing it uh, for this year. By then, I feel very, very confident uh, this whole COVID weird situation is going to be done with. That's going to be one hell of a celebration oh, yeah. in Blood Oh, yeah. We're going to have to tell every restaurant and bar in town to stock up on wine and beer and everything else because. Be ready for Chambra. We have 500 Chambra descending. Right now, we have 105 spaces open. It sounds like a lot, but uh, considering that there's only, uh, well, about uh, 500 spaces total, that's not a lot. If you're interested, uh, particularly in the next month or so, if you, things are getting a little easier in the world and the COVID situation uh, coming a little bit more uh, in, in check and balance, uh, do sign up for Bled um, because that's going to be going quick. Once once everybody says, okay, the, the airlines are starting to get back to normal. and I've had so many Chambra tell me that they just can't wait to just be with other, <laughs> yeah. you know, other Chambra, <laughs> to just celebrate. You know, and it's that thing, we don't have to be together all the time, but once in a while, it's wonderful to get together. I can tell you right now, it's going to be a lot of music and a lot of channels. Yay! Uh, we're going to be celebrating and we're going to be flying high. So you got uh, it. I am really looking forward to that. To me, it's kind of like going to be uh, like an announcement that 
we're done with this whole COVID thing. Now we can move forward. We can party like we haven't done in a long time. You know, all of this has been related to that fact that, you know, with this COVID thing, everybody's had to stop mm -hmm. and just take pause. And as Adamus has told us, it's, it's not even a coincidence. You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see, so we're going to have about 500 Chambra uh, staff and everything. The number's going to go over 500. A big group swim in the lake. Can you imagine? No, really. No, Suddenly, I can't. you know, <laughs> four o'clock in the afternoon, we let out for the day. Everybody goes and takes off their clothes and jumps into I the think lake. There's a weather aspect to that that could be a contributing no, 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 factor. It's still really nice that time of the year. The lake is always cold. Uh, that doesn't matter. But the reason, and I don't mind going in because there's no big fish in that lake. I mean, there's just little tiny fish, I've been told. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's plan it at a great big group swim. Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Ah, and last but not least for those fall events, we are going to do Energy Works at in the Carmag of France, our wonder, another wonderful place we love, you know, where we all can get together and do, have an incredible experience with Adamus and then celebrate like Chambra. Oh, man, we're going to oh celebrate. Uh, it's sold know? out. I think Don't we've got you know? about, I, I forgot what the number was, but 50 or 60 Chambra. Yeah. And it's a small little village, oh, yeah. and this is also the, the hometown for Soy, the, the music band. Which means I am. It's going to be yet another big celebration, freedom of life. We're going to eat, we're going to drink, we're going to have music. And if I'm feeling like it, we might do some channels, but I might be a little bit mm -mm. Uh, from all the partying that we've been doing. But, but that's okay. We get together, what, not for the channels, for the fun. Oh, uh, I'm going to watch myself. I'm not going to. I behave I'm in bed early every night. All right, let's go to Chambra News, entering into the end times. Oof. So uh, we took this graphic here that's showing on the screen, uh, and it's also the new banner for our Facebook page. We tend to change it up what, every six months or so, I think. Uh, and this is not apocalyptic. It looks apocalyptic. But it's not apocalyptic. I can't even say <laughs> uh, this is. We are entering into the and times, and this is like the fields are glowing with the flowers, and we're seeing all the new energy rising up on the horizon, oh. and, and that's what it is. So I Got just it. had to make that point clear. Okay. Okay. So uh, always a reminder, as we do every month, make sure to check out the, sh the award-winning Chambra magazine. I heard it won a new award last month. Uh, it was awarded the, the best um, uh, metaphysical publication of its kind uh, by the Ascended Masters Club. Oh. Yeah. Number one in that category okay. of, uh, uh, you know, publications. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is where you'll find great articles, all the information about the events and new products and everything coming up. Uh, I, I love the magazine because it's been going now for, I don't know, 15 years or something like that. It's really hard to sustain a publication on a monthly basis of that quality caliber that we do. And I'm it really has a proud lot of, of good it. material and also incredible information. And I always uh, want to thank uh, and acknowledge Mark Ritter for the art direction and the design of the magazine, Gene Tinder for editing. And uh, it's always crazy the week before Shout, because we're trying to get out the magazine which means we have to get all the products ready. We got to do all the work that goes into the magazine, getting ready for the shout and everything else. It always turns out really well. Once the magazine is done, I know the month is good because <laughs> everything but else now, is cleared up. But, but now, now, now actually, we're going to take a look at uh, a couple of different new things that have come up. Pronos 2020, and Linda, do you realize it was only three weeks ago no. we were recording it no. right here? It seems like. Really, uh, no exaggeration, two months, three months maybe, I just three felt weeks ago. knocked off my heels. Oh I my just, gosh, that it, was... It, it's, you know, Pronost is about giving Chambra, giving us a perspective of, you know, we hear, quote, what's going on, yeah. but Pronost gives us a perspective that we can use for ourselves. Adamus doesn't spend a lot of time about talking about the global situation, no. <coughs> but in Pronost, once a year, he uh, loves to talk about it. He gives kind of a global future perspective. Uh, and, and it's always fascinating. I mean, this isn't like um, psychic prediction time. This is where the world is going, the direction we're headed. The insights have proven to be very, very accurate. The insights are amazing. When he started talking about uh, technology a number of years ago, I thought, yeah, whatever. And now I'm looking at it, and oh my gosh, am I glad 
I listened <laughs> because that's the direction the world is going in for a reason. Right. In Pro Nash 2021, there's three really captivating sessions, and uh, you can get it online. You can um, uh, stream it online right now for a hundred dollars. Actually, probably the if you really want to know where things are going, probably the best hundred dollars you can spend. Incredible perspective. Yeah. Incredible. So we're going to take a look at the recap from Pro Nash 2021, just three weeks ago. Yeah, I know. Oof. Just not amazing. Oof. Pro 2021, I'm going to be talking about the main factors driving change on the planet and where the planet is going and your role in that. It's all about energy and communications. Energy and communications. Everything that the planet is doing right now is oriented towards those two things, energy and communications. What we're in right now is this long-awaited Christos era, also called the Crystal Age, the Age of Aquarius. I call it the time of the machines. It's also the end times. It's the end of a very long, old era. It's the end of the biology as you've known it uh, in the past for, for hundreds of thousands of years. It's the end of the way uh, the planetary financial system has been working. It's the end of so many things that are from the past. This is also, as I said, the and times. If you want to really summarize the and times, it really means it's the human and spirit incarnate together on this planet. No matter what you think about technology, what you should understand, it is the tool for change on the planet. Let's talk first about bioengineering. It's a huge topic on the planet right now. So the principles of biology and the tools of engineering assisted by computer technology are making this a huge field, bioengineering. Next major trend to really keep an eye on here is what I call decentralized, decentralized manufacturing. Pretty soon, everything will be manufactured on de- most everything manufactured on demand with a 3D printer. Next, and a very important one, it's technology called CRISPR. CRISPR is basically DNA editing. In the body, there's DNA that is out of tune with, uh, with the rest of your body. But until recently, you didn't know how to fix it. Well, CRISPR does that. Next is what I call super teams. Super team is when hu- humans and robots are working together side by side. Next on the list, very important, quantum computing. This is amazing because quantum computing is thousands of times faster than conventional computers neuromorphic computing, where it basically uses a whole different type of um, uh, software basis that's emulating the neurons of the mind. One of the other big areas is language processing. In order for the planet to really get into uh, the, the end times, into this Christos era, the communications, which is what energy is, has to improve. So language processing breaks down the old barriers. Right now, there's about 35 billion, with a B, connected devices. In about four years from now, there'll be about double that number. First time in history of this planet where things were so connected together. The other trend that uh, came about as a result of, uh, largely as a result of coronavirus, was the what I call off-homing. Just imagine for a moment the impact this is going to have when uh, you know, up to half of the workforce 
is working from home. Next major social trend I want to talk about is augmentation. It can be done through bioengineering. Uh, it can be uh, done through a variety of different things, but augmenting your biology. On to the next subject. This is a very big one. I call it the tears of humanity. The tears of humanity. This sadness that's sweeping over the planet, it was really brought up by the, the dragon that came in 2019, uh, the global dragon. Next main topic, big one. I call it super mass consciousness. Mass consciousness is the collective thoughts, emotions, and experiences of the entire history of the planet, of the global community. It's growing even more now with uh, digital connectivity on the planet. Right now, let's talk about something equally exciting. Brain net. The human brains are interlinked together like a, a group. You can choose to be in specific groups with specific other humans. You can choose to be in just the whole group together or, or both. Let's talk about coronavirus. Now, the DNA is getting changed, particularly in those who've gotten the vaccines. This is changing mass consciousness then. Because what happens here, uh, mass consciousness is changed one DNA at a time. What's happening here with the DNA is affecting mass consciousness, and at a certain level, when uh, you know, approximately, uh, arguably, three to four percent of the population has been vaccinated, there's enough momentum there to go change mass consciousness, and then mass consciousness sends a huge signal, uh, message, communication down to everyone and says, okay, DNA change in everyone, virus goes away. Another important point is coming to the time on this planet of a new economy. There will be a decentralization of money exchange. The next big trend is global stupidity. This is where humans become more stupid uh, as they let technology do the work and think for them. I'd like to talk about time. Time is one of the biggest factors that manages and controls mass consciousness. It's the glue that holds that whole huge cloud of mass consciousness together. In Eterna, there is no history to speak, uh, so to speak. There's no baggage. There's no karma. There's no hauling around old stories. It's all right now. You don't have to travel now into the past to change the past. It can change right now. It, it, by what you are choosing, it profoundly changes what you would call your past. Therefore, it opens up new potentials for what you would call the future. And it's all happening in the moment. All this is about taking the planet to the next level, to the end times, or to the uh, Christos era. Well, I hope you got a sense of just how incredible this Pronos 2021 was. There were things in there I just, it's like, oh my God, I could hear it, but it's not anything I had imagined. Yeah, there's like 20 different subject Amazing. matters in there. Uh, you just saw kind of a, a little snippet of each one, but unbelievable uh, that the amount of information Amazing. that's in those three sessions will really help you understand where this planet is going. And it's uh, interesting. So, uh, as a subset of uh, Pronosh 2021, Adamus asked us to go into the third session and to extract part of it that he wanted us to put out on uh, for, out for free uh, on YouTube and Facebook and everything else. It was a very, very, very deep and touching, touching part. Yeah. It was at the end of the Pronosh day, and uh, we, we've taken that and we have some of the excerpts. This is not the full thing, but just this to give just you a feel give you a feel for it. You can find it for free 
on uh, YouTube and Facebook, and also you can download it from the Crimson Circle website. But Share it with friends, share it with anyone you choose. And, and Adamus' purpose was very simple. He said so many, so many of us and others, the new ones, have been feeling this deep sense of sadness lately, but not really knowing what it was. And he explains it in Pronost and also in this uh, extract that we call Tears of Humanity. Let's take a look at that. I'd like to talk a little bit about this Tears of Humanity. Wars. Why? Why wars? One could argue that, well, does any of it really make a difference because we're eternal beings, but there is a sadness, the tears of humanity for what we've done to each other. We're angels after all. We came here with the highest of good and the highest of intent. We came here to understand energy and what has become of us. Why do we take a knife and a sword to another human being? Why is there hunger? Why do we have poverty on this planet, this planet of abundance that can produce more than is needed by creative humans that know better than to allow anyone to exist in poverty? These are the tears of humanity. Why have we, the angels, allowed this ever to be on this planet? And what have we done, dear angels? When we came here to this glorious planet Earth, with its nature and its abundance and all the opportunities that we had, why do we kill? Why do we steal? These are the tears of humanity right now. What to do? That's why you're here. It's not to go out and try to start fixing humans right now. It's allowing your own self, your own tears now, to come to the surface. Let your own bra dragon bring these to the surface, even though it hurts to look at it, so that you can release it. Take care of yourself first. Then you won't go looking to take energy from anyone else. Take care of yourself first, and then you're not going to go to places of anger and abuse. Take care of yourself first. Let's take a good deep breath together. So this is what you've been feeling. It's very, very real. So Tears of Humanity is available online, uh, free of charge as a download, also on YouTube or Facebook. So check it out. Uh, it's very deep, very you, profound. You really can feel it, yeah. <clears throat> even in just that short thing. So please give yourself the gift of feeling into the Tears of Humanity. Also, a few other things before we take a break. We've come out with the new, much sought after, much asked for, Master's Pause, I Am Comfort. Yes, that was certainly uh, a topic. Requested. Good timing. Good timing. Right after oh, yeah. Tears of Humanity and Pro oh, yeah. Staff, I Am Comfort. No coincidence. Uh, the there. Master's Pause series, these are about an hour long, a little bit of talk with Adamus, and then really into a, a nice, beautiful Marab to actually facilitate uh, and encourage some of these changes. So, I Am Comfort is finally here. Uh, and Adamus talks a lot about how resistance causes the discomfort, and Absolutely. once we release the resistance to whatever it happens to be, uh, once we release that resistance, our body, our, our mind, our entire being comes back into that level of comfort. 
But that's something that's easier said than done, and this really supports making it easier. Helps make that transition. Absolutely. Uh, This uh, I Am Comfort is just $25 as a download. You get to download the video, audio, and text. Uh, Translations are coming very soon, by the way, even on Pronost and the uh, Tears of Humanity. Uh, The translation team around the world is working uh, very hard at getting everything done. Anyway, uh, I Am Comfort just $25 through May 3rd. Let's take a look at some of the portions of I Am Comfort. In our discussion here of comfort, hopefully you come to understand uh, not only the reason why the discomfort is there, where it's coming from, but also now how to transcend that. Let's talk a little bit about about some of the things that you're going through right now. I'm going to start out with chaos. Chaos is not really bad. Chaos simply means that. Things are unpatterned. They're undefined. Feel into your own chaos for a moment. There's chaos in your mind and chaos in your body. There's a lot of chaos right now in just simply in your consciousness, but that's not a bad thing. The chaos is actually serving you. But because of the nature of uh, the, the human condition, There's been a lot of resistance to the chaos, but I ask you to feel into the joy and the the spontaneity and the creativity of not having to be in those defined patterns, of being in chaos, the unpredictable. Because in the unpredictable, that's when the dreams become reality. Magic doesn't occur within predictability at all. Then it wouldn't be magic. Then it's just normal life. Magic occurs in the unpredictable. Now, the human comes back and counters that by saying, yes, but it's so uncomfortable. Uh, It's really only uncomfortable because of the level of resistance. Mental resistance, psychological resistance that then manifests in the body. Uh, the, the brain can't feel pain to begin with, so it sends all that resistance energy down into the body, and then pretty soon you got aches and pains. I know this sounds so counterintuitive, but when you go into the chaos, the discomfort will end, because there's no more resistance. What's there left to resist if you fully come into yourself? So let's take a deep breath here in chaos and release all things. Oh, you've created so many things, beautiful things. Now each and every one of those creations, including the identity of the human, the identity of the Master, they want to evolve. Let them. This is true creation, and there's no pain in it. It's all done in chaos. This, this is how you come into comfort.
So, that was quite special. Yeah, and one more quick thing before we go on break. Uh, we are doing this uh, thing now every month called The Spotlight, where we take a, a product that uh, you know is available, uh, but we might have forgotten about it. We've, uh, and as we're going through in our new archiving and indexing process, we find these gems that we forgot about. Uh, it, well, it's even, it's even beyond that, that what you're saying is absolutely true, but even if you've already heard it, what we ca are finding that there were things that were said that where our energy hadn't evolved to a point, you actually hear it differently now, even if you've already heard it. And that's what got really exciting to me. So it's awesome, it's a wonderful product if you haven't done it, and it's with the new energy, it's even, it's even more relevant. Our Spotlight product this month is something that uh, I believe came from July uh, 2014. It's called Beyond the Noise, This Is Yours. It's a dream walk, a very special dream walk with Adamus. You can download it now for just $25. It's about going beyond time, and this was even before he talked about Eterna, right. which means timelessness, where the noise fades away. So uh, we have a very quick preview of this to show you, and from that we're going to take a break. We're going to come back in 30 minutes, or about 33 minutes now, uh, for uh, uh, Adamus to see yeah. what he has to say. Okay, so. Take a good deep breath. Here we go with our preview or our review for this dream walk. alone in this dream walk. I'm with you every step of the way. So you take a good deep breath now. And let time go right through you. Just like the gentle breeze. Let time pass right through. As it does, it takes with it the illusion or the perception, all the noise, all the thoughts, all the ways you've been perceiving yourself. Take a deep breath, and as a conscious creator, let time go past. Time go way beyond. Remember, we're not moving. Because if we were, we'd only be moving through time itself. But here we're allowing time to go beyond. Like the wind. Moving on its way somewhere else. Time gently slipping away, gently easing your body and your mind, and the anxiety that you might have had. Do you feel it? I can almost hear it. Time slipping away carrying with it all the debris of time itself. Take another good deep breath. Let it slip away.
So I think you could feel into the energy of that very, very special dream walk that it almost did. But th once again, now, welcome that we're here for this basically wonderful, wonderful Shoud series. And we're going to be back after this break with Adamus for each of us. So with that, take a good deep breath. And remember, we'll be back in 30 minutes for Adamus. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. <laughs> 